Hi everyone. Today we are going to look at repeated addition, which is our first step in learning to multiply. So we are going to look at how we count in twos, fives and tens and see how this can help us with these skills. So first of all, we have our numbers all on their own as we know them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. But to make counting a bit quicker and a bit easier, we can group them into smaller groups. So rather than have them on their own, we can put them into groups. So the first group we can put them into are groups of two. So we can have two, four, six, eight and ten. By putting them together into small groups of two we can make counting quicker. On our number square it would look like this. We would jump from number two to four to six to eight to ten to twelve to fourteen to sixteen to eighteen to twenty. We can do that all the way up the number square. So when we count in twos, the number is always an even number or a zero. Okay, so it always ends in two, four, six, eight, or ten. Okay, so another way we can group our numbers, we can group them into groups of five. So we can put one, two, three, four, five together in a group and six, seven, eight, nine, ten together in a group to have two groups of five. On our number square, it would look like this. We can count from five to 10, to 15, to 20, 25, to 30, and all the way down the number square. And when we count in fives, the number always ends in either a five or a zero. The other thing we can do rather than have all the numbers on their own is to group them into one big group of 10 and count all the numbers as one big group of 10. So we'd have a 10 like this and then we could have another 10. Okay, so on our number square, it would look like this. We would jump from 10 to 20 to 30 to 40 to 50. We can carry on all the way down our numbers. And when we count in tens, the number always ends in a zero. Okay, so we've got groups of two, or we could have groups of five, or we could have one big group of ten. So on our number square, if we were counting in twos, it would look like this. We'd follow the yellow numbers. If we were counting in fives, we'd follow our green numbers and do our bigger jumps. And if we were following our tens, our groups of ten, we'd jump in even bigger jumps all the way down the blue column. Okay, so shall we see how that looks as a sum okay, or as a number sentence? So, for example, we here have one, two, three, footballers okay and each footballer has two boots one on each foot so he has two boots so what we would do at the moment we would say that we have two boots add another two boots add another two boots so this is called repeated addition so we would just add two to another two to another two and we would know that two plus two plus two equals six. But what we could do to do our multiplying number sentence is we could say that there are one, two, three footballers. So we have three sets of two. There are three lots of the number two. And then we put our multiplying sign, which is on its side. And then we would say that also equals six. Okay, so we look at that again. 
but this time there are four little girls. And each girl has two mittens. So how many mittens are there all together? So we know that this girl has two, and this girl has two, this girl has two, and this girl has two. So we could use our number sentence to add them all together. So we could say two, add two, add two, add two equals eight. Or we could say that we know that there are one, two, three, four girls. One, two, three, four girls. And each girl has two mittens. So our four lots of two, four times two equals eight. Okay, we'll try another one. And this time there are two aliens and each alien has three eyes. So how many eyes do we have in the picture all together? So we know that each alien has three eyes and now we'd normally say three, add three, equals six or we could say that we know that there are two aliens and they each have three eyes so two times three equals six okay so let's try some now without pictures just using our dots okay so we'll work on some number sentences together so in this picture in this slide we have two add two so we know that that is four or we could say that we have one two groups of two which equals four in this picture we have two plus another two plus another two which we know is two four six or we could say for our multiplying sentence that we have one, two, three sets of two. So that also equals six. This time we have five, add five, which we know is 10. Or we could say that we have one, two groups of five. So two times five equals 10. This time we have five and another five and another five. So we can say five, 10, 15. Or for our multiplying sentence, we can say we have one, two, three groups of five. So three times five equals 15. This time, ours are in groups of 10. So we can say that 10 add 10 equals 20. Or we could say we have one, two groups of 10. So two times 10 equals 20. So that's great work, everyone. Well done. What you could do now is you could go and try some number sentences of your own, or you could have another little look at this video, maybe tomorrow or the day after, and come and practice again, and see if it helps you to remember how we can do our multiplying sentences. It's really tricky, guys, so I'm really proud of you for sticking with me and giving it a go. Well done, everyone.